Hello everyone and welcome back to chapter 4 focused on the grammatical endings S, E, S, and E, D. For exercise 8, uh, we're still focused on the S and E, S endings. These are proverbs. Proverbs are short sayings that have uh, moral messages. These are proverbs, very famous uh, proverbs in English that are missing the S and the ES endings. Actually, no, forgive me. They do have them. And what you need to do is underline all the words that end with S and ES. Whether those be verbs or whether they be nouns, uh, possessive nouns. Underline all the words that have S and ES endings. And then, in terms of meaning, match the proverb uh, with the with the suggested meaning here on the right hand side. Once you've done that, then create your own proverb. Share a proverb uh, from your language. Okay, and indicate that here, and then underline the words that end in s uh, or es. Okay, so write a proverb. Of course, in you have to translate it from your language to English. Write a proverb from your language and then underline the words that have S or ES. All right, and that is exercise eight on page 32.